Hey everyone, um, I just want to make a quick video. Uh, I have these two batteries that I uh, removed from an old drill. And uh, I just want to test out this um, Ryobi, the Ryobi rotary tool that I got from Home Depot. The model for this tool is PCL480. It's an 18 volts tool that you can uh, use a battery with. <clears throat> I want to see if uh, it can remove these little things that it, it left behind from the nickel plate or nickel um, strips that this was connected to from the battery. Um, these cells um, do work. So I just want to remove this so that if I uh, need to use them again, they'll, it'll be like a flat surface. So I will be using this rotary tool from Ryobi. I'll be using this uh, sand, sanding wheel here that it came with. All right, so before uh, I start uh, removing these little uh, pieces of nickel strip on the batteries, um, if you are uh, planning on doing this yourself or uh, using a rotary tool in any way, um, definitely use safety glasses. Probably the most important uh, thing you want to do before you start working on pretty much anything that requires a power tool or I uh, I didn't I didn't uh, I didn't used to own a pair of uh, safety glasses but after I experienced something that almost I believe got me blind on the left eye I absolutely had to buy some they're inexpensive and you know they protect your eyes that's the number one thing you want to protect when you're working on uh, on projects with your tools so since I am using a, a sander, I will be sending, uh, removing these uh, pieces of nickel strip uh, from the battery. It will have a lot of pieces of metal um, in the air, so I will be using a mask. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put it on, and uh, I'm going to start uh, removing the nickel strip uh, from the battery. Alright, I have my mask on. Um, Batteries are right here. I'm going to put this to the side. Got the batteries here. I'm going to work with one for now. Get my tool out. Like so. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. I will be using probably 25,000 uh, RPM on this. Alright, let's get going. I'm going to do the other side. Okay. Oh. Alright, so this is how it looks. I did mess up a little bit on the plastic uh, cover there, but it's not too bad. The It's flat now. Yeah, it's not perfect, but just the job. Here's the other side, as you can see. It's flat now, so if I need to use this on something else, I can use a nickel strip which I won't, but I can solder a wire on it or something like that to connect it to another battery. All right, let me go ahead and do the other one. All right, there you go. Um, it's not perfect, but it's gone now. This one had uh, a little bit of a thicker uh, piece on it, but it's flat now, as you can see. And it's ready for reuse, I think. Um, you know, it should, shouldn't be too bad. Here's, here's both of them. There you go. Yeah, it feels flat. There's no bumps or anything like that. There you go. That's how uh, 
I removed the leftover nickel strip um, from my uh, 18650 batteries. Uh, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or if I did anything wrong, let me know.